Rex, Scott here again. In this video, I'm going to be doing another one of Cisco's packet tracer activities. This is activity 3.2.3.2. Basically, it's the client server interaction. So, the tracer here starts with just one client and one server. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to move from this real time over to simulation mode. So, we can get the simulation panel. Adjust our filters all we want to really look at for this is DNS and HTTP. So we'll remove all of those, add in our DNS for IPv4 and HTTP under the miscellaneous. You'll see that they're there now. And then the next thing that we want to do is request a web page from the PC. So we left click on our PC once to come here and go to our desktop our web browser. And they kind of have a few built in to work with, so we are going to use one of their pages, their example pages here, which is exactly that, example.com. Tell it to go, and we can see in our simulation panel that we're starting to see traffic. It's paused because it's not running yet. It just shows us that it's been started. So we'll press the auto capture play, and we'll see how that packet travels across to the server. hopefully with that web page data so we can load that web page and so we can go ahead and take a look at some of these specific events these specific packets we'll go ahead and take a look at the first one here so we can see what's happening within this packet. So we've got that DNS starting in our layer 7, our application layer. I'm just going as UDP. So we have our source and destination ports here, and our IP address is configured inside of here, encoded. And if we want to be going continue down through each layer, description of what's going on down here. And so that kind of helps us look to take a look and see how a client will request uh, web page data from a server, even if this is going across the internet to a remote server or something like that. It would still look fairly similar. And so that's pretty much it for this packet tracer. I will see you hopefully in my next video.